Good evening, YouTube. I finally finished my hay shed, which is a 30 by 85 storage or canvas, whatever you want to call it. Um, as you can see, got the hay all stacked in it. And just going to show a little bit about it. A little tips and tricks, I guess. Um, and how things actually go together, because the instructions don't show it perfectly for you know perfectly uh, so here's beside one of the walkthrough doors and you have this little bar that goes across but then you also have your side rails how you have to spiral it up tie it off run more rope and just all the way up and over that takes a little bit of time uh, the end panels go on first as you can see the only thing I've noticed that if these, I mean, I know you can kind of not really see it too well, but I got the door open and they kind of, they move still. I mean, I could probably it probably needs to be tightened up again, but we're going to see how it does for a little while longer. This bar that runs across the door that I do not have the ropes tied to that actually raise it up and down because I just rolled it up and tied it and went on while I was stacking it full of hay but it likes to come out you can see it's kind of worked its way out again so that's the only thing I've seen as an issue if it wind blows it does kind of get caught on that you can see the ratchets for the sides you have to cut a little slit on the ones beside the arches um, well, see this side isn't too bad it's pretty well tight but the middle of it kind of gets a little more a little loose because you have this whole stretch that doesn't have a bar going across it to protect it from the wind and you can see a little vent up there you can see the arrows that they say that needs to line up um, as you can see I I graveled the whole thing few dump truck loads no big deal you can see down along the edge I still got room enough to walk if I need to hey gets pretty close to the top stacking them three tall five by fives um let's see go on the outside and you to kind of see what the corners look like got this other twine that has it's tied to hold the canvas on the over the ends all the way around the only thing that gets a little tricky is like enter here you know how it holds it down you can kind of see there's a wrinkle in that one I'm not sure exactly why it does that you can kind of see some wrinkles there but I mean I pulled this thing as tight as we could get it that day and ratchet it down when it's cool out or the sun's not beating down on it Sometimes it gets a little bit of a sag to it, but man, whenever that sun's out, it's pretty taunt still, though. It's not too bad, but love it so far. Definitely keeps all the hay completely dry, which is what I was going for. Honestly, I need another one sitting here beside it so that I can put my, <laughs> my machinery in. Any questions, leave a comment below. I normally answer them pretty quick. I get an email. And since I'm on my email at work all day long, then I can normally answer them pretty quick. Any other questions, I'll take another video and show you what, what I did and how I did it or why I did it. Whether it was right or wrong. I guess I'll, if I had to do it over again, I would definitely have more help to roll the actual canvas over the arches. Um, kind of thought about it, you know, taking a tractor with a front end loader, a couple of them, down each side to raise it up as high as I could, then pull it over. Uh, as two people trying to do it with the string or the rope, man, it was hard. And we wouldn't have done it. We had to get up in a skid steer bucket and kind of pull and push it on over. Not the funnest thing in the world. You tear meat off your fingers and... They don't heal up for a couple days. <clears throat> and I haven't been back down here to mow or weed eat. 
which I'm kind of leery of weed eating next to it, which I will probably just use Roundup. But I haven't been able to do that either. My summer is getting away from me and not got the things I've done I wanted to do. Thanks for watching.